Well, my transition to the PG tour was was slightly was was different. You know, every time you they, you, you you get out of your comfort zone, which in my case was a European tour, was slightly different. I mean, it's it's always hard. I mean, European tour. It's it's more like a family traveling together, you know. And there's there's a lot of Spanish players, as you can imagine, on the European tour. And they are most of them. They are my best friends, and we used to share rooms together. We went for dinner together. We did practice runs together. So all of a sudden, I came here to the PGA Tour, and I did know some guys, but but it it wasn't the same. And you know, here in in the U.S., everybody's a little bit more individualistic. I mean, they they do their own thing, which is absolutely fine with me. But of course, that was not my that was that wasn't my style or what I was used to do, uh, to doing. So um, it, it it did it didn't caught me by surprise because I've I've heard that before and I was kind of try I mean I was ready for it, but it was a little hard. And and of course I I, I would say this. I mean I think the, the 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 golf I mean the the depths of the fields here in the PGA Tour in comparison with the European Tour it, it was definitely stronger i mean the golf competition was way harder here you needed to play really good here if you want to if you want to perform and 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 of course i don't know what happened with my game but unfortunately it wasn't as sharp as it was maybe 2013 2012 when i was playing my best but still i mean i, I loved it here because i mean when you compete against the best players in the world it also you need to kind of step up your game a notch. You know what I mean? It's, it's you know that that whatever you had before was and maybe wasn't good enough. So you're always trying to get a little better to compete against these guys. So as a person and as a, I have I think I've grown up a lot. I've learned a lot through these years. I mean, until then, everything I'm not gonna say was easy because it's never easy. But but I mean, coming here and 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 competing against these guys just taught me that hey if you wanna if you wanna really peak at this game you have to keep improving every day of your life i mean every day you go out there and practice just you have to improve a little bit just a little bit every day and it it also helped me see that guys like tiger woods i mean what they've achieved the amount of times they've won i mean because when you see it on tv or when you see it i mean when you see it on paper you go, oh, okay, that's, that's pretty impressive. But when you actually play against these guys and, 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 and feel how hard it is to win once, I mean, you see this guy has won 80 times on tour, you go like, whoa, this is, this is something else. And Alicia and I were, were, were Spanish, our children are Spanish, but after six years living here, we, we do feel American as well. I, I don't have I don't have an American passport. I don't even have a green card. But but in my heart, I, I do feel a little bit American myself. Just the way people treated me and and uh, it's the hospitality has been so amazing that that it would be unfair not to. You know what I mean? It's so so when we thought about the possibility of Mateo, Mateo was was supposed to be born in in August and that time of the year we're always in Spain. So so we could have easily gone back to Spain and have it with with Alicia as a usual doctor uh, who 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 brought the other three to this world. But we thought, you know what? I think it would be a little selfish uh, from our side if we don't give Mateo the chance of of of, of being born in, in America and being an American citizen. I mean it's, it's a fantastic opportunity for, for him and, and who knows what the future will, will bring, you know? I think it's, it's, we, we kind of owe it uh, to him uh, and, and for us it's pretty special to have an American member of the family. I mean, it's, that's, something, that's something pretty unique and, and as I said, even though I don't have an American passport, I, I, I do feel a little American myself. Just, just, as I said, because after being here for six years and the way everybody has treated us here, we do feel part of the family.